had he made any other contributions to your home before Zamir was born? No. Um, did he pay a water bill before Zamir was born? Uh, kind of sounds strange, though. We're kind of not believing it, but it doesn't make a lot of sense. Something doesn't sound right, but okay. Ms. Jackson, I understand that earlier this year you contacted CPS because you were concerned about your ability to take care of your children. Is that correct? Yes. And your intent was to temporarily place your children with other home in other homes while you yourself got your life together. Um, yes. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Was it ever your intent to um, permanently place your children in another home? No. Okay. And so you have one child. There's only one child in question for this case. Is that correct? Yes. But you have three children total. Yes. And that child is, the child in question today is Zamir. Yes. Mr. Zamir, Zamir's dad is here, Mr. Wilford. Did Mr. Wilford um, um, accept custody of Zamir? Yes. And did he do so um, voluntarily? He did so voluntarily through Ms. Blissett. Okay. Before, did you call him before Ms. Blissett contacted Mr. Wilford to ask no. him to take? No, because I advised her that me and him wasn't on speaking terms at the moment. Okay, thank you. So, Ms. I think I had already asked um, the CPS investigator, but just to be clear, your baby was born in June. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And since June, has Mr. Wilford paid child support? No. Was the baby in your custody that entire time? Yes. Did Mr. Wilford help in other ways, financially? Um, yes. What ways did he help? Um, he had bought him uh, diapers and wipes here and there, and he helped my mom pay her light bill. And that is since Zamir has been born. Is that correct? Yes. Had, had he made any other contributions to your home before Zamir was born? No. Um, did he pay a water bill before Zamir was born? Um, yes, but Zamir wasn't even conceived then. Okay. Um, and that water bill, is that is that an, an amount that Mr. Wilford has asked for you to pay back? Yes. Okay. That water bill amount was for about $300, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And the amount for the electricity bill for your mother was about $60, is that correct? Yes. And you said that he's also purchased um, Zamir clothing, is that correct? Um, yes. Yeah. Clothing and anything else? Has he purchased diapers or anything while he was, when Zamir was with you? Diapers wow. and wipes. Diapers, wipes, and clothing. Okay, mm -hmm. how, how much would you say he probably spent on those items? Do you know? And it's okay uh, if you don't. I would say, I would say probably like less than $80. Okay. And so since Zamir has been born, it's been about $80 and $60 that you would attribute to his Mr. Wilford's contributions to Zamir. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, Ms. Jackson, you just got a job that you're going to start today. Is that correct? Um, yes, at a supply store right across the street from where I stay at. Okay. And what are your hours there? From two in the afternoon to eight at night. Okay. When you initiated the CPS um, investigation, were you working? Um, I had just lost my job. Okay. Did you have a home at that time? I was still staying with my mom. Okay. Um, what happened with your mother on why 
you needed a new home? Um, her lease was up and um, my mom pretty much, you know, been taking care of all of us as a single mom. And my sister was staying there with her kids as well. And the only reason why um, I moved back in with my mom is because I had a previous place and my lease was up um, and I was still waiting on my housing application um, to go through. So I ended up staying with my mom um, for like a whole year and she was just ready to finally just be in her own space um, on her own. So she decided not to renew her lease and she had got her a one bedroom apartment in Carpers Cove. Okay. Um, Ms. Jackson, did you have or have you had a drug issue? Yes, I have. And are you in a, in a plan to address that drug issue now? Um, yes, I had my assessment um, yesterday with OSAR. So um, they got me um, taking classes and I also have to see a therapist for my mental health. Okay, CPS closed the investigation already, but did they express any concern about whether or not you can parent a child? Um, no, they did not. They didn't have no concerns about that at all. They told me I still had all rights to visit my kids um, as long as I was supervised by my mom because she's on the safety plan. Um, they told me I still had all rights to my kids. It wasn't like a custody thing that was put in place. It was just a safety plan for me to get myself together tempor temporarily so I can get them back placed with me. So it never wasn't a concern as far as the safety of me being around my kids at all. Thank you. Your Honor, I have no further questions for this witness. All right, Mr. Morgan, you're a witness. Um, Ma'am, you're just asking today that you have some temporary possession until the next uh, hearing. Yes. All right. That's all the questions I have. I'll pass the witness. All right, ma'am. Where are you currently live? Uh, are you? I'm sorry. Are you living with anyone right now? Um, I'm currently living by myself. All right. Is, is, is this an apartment, a house? What are we talking about? It's an apartment, a two bedroom apartment. Okay. Are the other two children there? Or are they uh, still out uh, with other parties? They're still with other parties. And, and this, uh, this apartment you're living at, is that your, you're renting that? Um, yes, sir, through housing. All right, so yeah, this is in your name? Mm-hmm. And all my all right. kids are on the lease as well. All right, thank you. You may call your next witness then, Ms. Todd. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I called Mr. Donzel Wilford. Ms. Wilford, you there, sir? Yes, sir, I'm here. All right, please state your name for the record, sir. Donzel Wilford. All right, thank you very much. You may proceed, Ms. Top. Yes, okay. Mr. Wilford, we don't have a lot of time, so I am going to ask that, I'm going to try to be as direct as possible so that you'll have an opportunity to be heard by the judge at our next hearing. Um, for purposes of today, we need, I would like for a temporary order to be put in place for you to maintain possession of your child until our next um, hearing. Um, are you agreeable to maintain possession of your child until then? Yes, ma'am. Um, I also want to make a recommendation that you are not put on orders to uh, pay child support um, uh, retroactively for Zamir, as well as Ms. Jackson is not put on child support right now because we need to do math on how much was due to Ms. Jackson before you had custody of Zamir. Are you agreeable with waiting to address child support until the special hearing, the next hearing? Yes, ma'am. Then I have no further questions of this witness at this time, Your Honor. All right, then. Uh, sir, which city do you live in? Yes, sir. I'm in Harker Heights, Texas. All right. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And no questions right. from the state judge. All right. Ms. Jackson, which city do you live in? I'm in Colleen. 
Or how far from Harker Heights are you, ma'am? About 10 minutes. Okay. All right, Ms. Todd, is there any specific uh, access or visitation you're, uh, uh, you're asking for for uh, Ms. Jackson at this time? Um, I think standard uh, visitation would be appropriate for Ms. Jackson. Um, considering the CPS concerns, Your Honor, I am asking that we um, put in place that visitation will be supervised until our next um, hearing, Your Honor. All right, see, I wasn't, I wasn't sure if CPS was thinking uh, uh, until I make an order, or the, uh, cause again, uh, it, it, it the was safety plan, their safety plan doesn't control me, so. <laughs> yes, Your Honor, I understand. Um, just because she is still uh, under um, a safety plan for uh, drug use, Your Honor, um, I'm just thinking in best interest of the child, we'll continue on what that the uh, safety plan was, Your Honor. But I honestly, I don't personally have any concerns about Ms. Jackson seeing her child without supervision. I just thought that considering okay. the um, present um, safety plan, that it might be best for the next couple of months until we can meet again for a special hearing, Your Honor. All right, then. Uh, Ms. Uh, Jackson, what's your work schedule on Saturdays and Sundays? You're muted, Ms. Jackson. Right now, they have me off on Saturdays and Sundays. All right, then. And uh, if I was to give you, uh, uh, say, uh, from uh, 10 a.m. on Saturday to 6 p.m. on Saturday, then again, again, 10 a.m. on Sunday to 6 p.m. on Sunday going forward, but uh, you, would you have to do the pickup and drop off uh, at uh, Mr. Wilford's uh, and then uh, uh, have your mom uh, there uh, for, for those time frames for those uh, those those uh, 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 those vis those daytime visits. Yeah, well, can you get that done, ma'am? Yes, sir. Okay, you got transport. You got good enough transportation for that. Yes, sir. My mom. All right, good enough then. All right, folks. Uh, again, my apologies. I didn't know I was going to have to have a dental appointment today uh, till a couple of weeks ago. So it is what it is. But the bottom line. So I, I hate to r rush through this, but. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and look at uh, uh, doing another temporary, uh, doing a temporary order, naming you both temporary joint management service. Uh, let the, the child remain with Mr. Wilford until further order the court. I'm going to uh, uh, not. I'm going to take up the issues of visit uh, of child support, retroactive child support, all that at a at a future hearing. I'm not even sure it's going to be at the next hearing because we still might need further temporary orders at that point. But uh, for right now, we'll, we'll take that up at a future hearing. Uh, uh, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and order visitation uh, uh, every uh, Saturday and Sunday going forward from at, at uh, uh, and let me go ahead and just move it at 11 a.m. on Saturday to 5 p.m. Uh, to 5 p.m. on uh, 6 p.m. on Saturday, 11 p.m. on Sunday, uh, 11 a.m. on Sunday to 6 p.m. on uh, uh, Sunday with Miss Jackson picking the child up and dropping the child off. Judge, I just want to confirm that really quick um that was 11 a.m to 6 p.m on both saturday and sunday okay. both days i'm not doing it. I, I was thinking i was thinking about trying to get over and start working some overnights but now i'm gonna go ahead and just do the day daytime that way her, her mom can be present and we can and with her and uh, hopefully she won't be too inconvenienced with those two days and again that's the, those those visitation are restricted to be in the presence of a mother but her mother doesn't have to be with her at the pickup and drop off uh, at the pickup and drop off but uh, ma'am, uh, just to see why, just to cover yourself, uh, once you get to your mom's house, uh, get out that little magical computer you have in your pocket called a cell phone and start taking a couple of pictures. They're geotagged and they're, uh, uh, and they're timestamped. So they'll, they'll verify that, okay? Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Ms. Todd, quick question. Are you aware the guardian at Lightham had set up visitation in office visits? The guardian at Lightham lady, she said she can have office visits that she never showed, that they never came to. They were supposed to set them up where she can come for two hours in the office, and they never set that up the last past few weeks. So All right, Mr. Wilford. Well, today the court order is going to say that this is what the visitation schedule is, okay? Understood, Mr. Morgan. Understood. I was just asking Miss Todd if she was aware of that. Right, you can inform her about that after the hearing, sir. Again, sir, we're in a... Uh, okay, never mind, sir. I will call you Mr. Wilford. Okay, and again, sir, I understand what you're trying to tell the court, but again, the question wasn't asked, and you just can't blurt things out in the middle of a court hearing without a 
without a question or, or uh, making a statement. I understand that you're saying that they did that in their office, and I know that the uh, CPS has their own guardian ad litem, but in, in, when we, once you're in court, that's something totally different. Because uh, I can appoint, uh, technically, uh, uh, um, Miss uh, Todd is now the guardian ad, ad litem in this case. She's the attorney ad litem, she's the guardian ad litem, so, uh, and that's, that's official now. So, and CPS doesn't have anything else to do with this case. Well, at least not here so far, and not in this matter at this time. So let me get back to July, sorry. All right. Oh, that's right. The 4th of July is on that way. That messes up my Wednesday. So yeah, that's why that's like that. Okay. All right. I've got uh, the afternoon. Oh, okay. For some strange reason. Okay. Uh, check in with both parents uh, at least 30 days out from that. And uh, if you feel like that uh, and, and get and get the court uh, a, a written update before uh, uh, on that 30 day checkup. Uh, 30 days out, uh, 30 days before then. And uh, and one of the reasons I'm looking at, if you're thinking I may need to order everybody to take drug tests, then uh, I may, uh, if, 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 if I order drug tests, I order for everybody. So so if you think drug testing is appropriate, uh, we'll probably be looking at doing hair follicle on everybody at that point. But if not, I'll leave it up to you, okay? Yes, Your Honor. All right. All right, folks, you're going to get a new Zoom code for uh, July the uh, uh 19th at 2 30 p.m it'll be the only case i have at that time so uh, uh we can take up any and all issues and again uh if there's a problem or something happens in the interim uh, as far as the visitation is concerned uh both either you contact miss todd and she'll if she she if she thinks it's necessary she'll contact me and at that point if she's contacting me that means i'm probably setting this thing up for her hearing a lot faster so anyway i'll start with uh, uh you miss uh jackson any questions ma'am no. All right, Mr. Wilford, any questions, sir? You said July the nineteenth. Yes, sir. Two thirty p.m. You'll get a you'll get a uh, 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 you'll get a uh, an order uh, that you'll be sent uh, through DocuSign for as far as this temporary order is concerned, and you'll also get a, and the uh, you also get a uh, notice of hearing setting. They may be two separate documents. They may be in that document, but the hearing setting will have the date, time, and the Zoom code. 